All right, in this lesson, we're going to go through photoelectron spectroscopy. Try saying that three times fast. All right, let's review electron configurations. So, in atoms and ions, the electrons can be thought to exist in shells, or energy levels, and subshells, which are the sublevels. Inner electrons are the core electrons. Outer electrons are the valence electrons. Okay, so um, think of an atom kind of like an onion. That outer shell of our onion, that's where the valence electrons exist. And the core electrons are anything below that outer shell. Okay, and below is an example of an electron configuration. So the energy levels are the ones, twos, threes that you see there uh, in front. And then the subshells or sublevels are the letters that you see. So S, P, D, and so forth. All right, so photoelectron spectroscopy, um, PES for short, is an experimental technique to determine the relative energies of electrons in atoms or ions. Photoelectron spectrophotometers use radiation, which has lots of energy, to remove atoms. Um, or that should say electrons from an atom. Electrons are located in different energy shells and subshells. Valence electrons are easier to remove. There's less of an attraction to the nucleus, so it takes less energy to remove those. Core electrons are harder to remove. They're closer, uh, more tightly bound to the nucleus, so it takes more energy to remove those. The energies of the electrons in a given shell can be measured experimentally with PES. The position of the peak in the PES spectrum, we'll look at one here in just a second, is related to the energy required to remove the electron from the corresponding subshell. The height of each peak is generally proportional to the number of electrons in that subshell. So here's an example. Now, if you notice here, the first two peaks are really close, okay? And on our y-axis, it says relative number of electrons, okay? So looking at the first and second peaks, you notice it holds two electrons. So if you think about it, we know our S block will hold up to two electrons. So that's how we're able to identify our first and second peak belonging to that S block, okay? So one S2, two S2, and then after 2s would be 2p. And notice we have three electrons in this third peak here. Okay, We can hold up to six, but we only have three here. So using this um, readout here, we know that there's two electrons here in our first peak. There's two electrons here in our second peak, so that's four. And then we have three right here. Four plus three would be seven. So we would know that this is a uh, spectrum from nitrogen. And that's how we read these.